Hey everybody, Big V Podcast here, back with our Youth League, specifically our Youth League champ women here today, and we're going to talk about some of the best players that are coming off the bench for some specific teams. Now, we're going obviously off base statistics, we're going to talk about the depth of some of these teams, some teams that are probably requiring a little bit more help from their bench, whereas others that you know are just filling their role really, really well off teams with great depth. Now... Mark, I'm going to throw these to you first. What do you think the importance of role players and, and players that are coming off the bench? How important? Yeah, they're vital, Ted. Um, you, you just have to look at the ladder um, of all these divisions and you see the teams who are generally the deepest and getting the most support off the bench are there or thereabouts near the top of the table. So mm. um, it does show how important it is. And, and come finals time, you know, you've got someone in foul trouble or someone's not having a, having a good night, you've got to be able to have those weapons off the bench to be able to um, step up and get the job done and fill those shoes. Absolutely. And credit to the coaches of, of relying on these players and, and giving them the confidence in the world to, you know, go shoot their shot and, and play as well as, as well as they're playing with, along with their starters. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's, I think it's important to be able to, um, you know, for a cohesive team to get them, they get them working and operating together and people, you know, accepting their different roles as well. Yeah, hundred percent. Now we've got, an Altona player, they're Altona currently third in Watson, so they're doing pretty well. They've got a five and two record. They're playing quite well at the moment. We've got uh, Cassie Donamade. 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 It's, it's a bit of a different surname. I like it. Yeah. But yeah, she's been really strong for the um, the Gators early. Absolutely. Nine and a half uh, points per game, and um, to go with her ten rebounds. So yeah, just shy of a double double. Yeah. Very what, nice. what great support for Scabaris and Wilson to know that um, Cassie's coming off the bench and mm. she's going to come and get the job done. Yeah, and she has started a few times. So you know, when some of these girls are going up playing in their women's team, she is stepping yeah. up and playing a very good role there. And she's awesome. Yeah, clearly, clearly doing a great job down at uh, Altona. Absolutely. Now, we also got Jolie Brown from Casey, who's playing, you know, just shy of those of 20, point, of 20 minutes, sorry, but she's averaging just over seven points per game. Yeah, she, she does it a little bit of everything, doesn't she? And she's happy to shoot the three ball, but she doesn't go over the top. Um, but she's shooting a decent clip at 28.5%. Um, you know, a real good support for Lucy Dexter and, and Maya Healy when you, once again, you've got, you got somebody like, um, Jolie, um, coming off the bench, coming off the bench. She's had some really big games this year too. Absolutely. And this team, you know, they were quite strong last year. Like they made the finals or they were in the finals race. So they were close. Again, a team that's probably growing with their depth as well. Exactly. And then, you know, she'll be there come finals time. She'll be a, a real big reason. Um, they'll go deep in the finals. Absolutely. Now we've got Diamond Valley. We've got Keely Evans as well. Just 16 minutes per game coming off the bench, averaging seven points per game. Again, someone who's not shooting a hell of a lot from deep. She's only put up 15, made six. So she is shooting at 40%. So Just shoot it more, Keel. you got to guard Let it. Let that thing fly. You have to guard You're it. You're shooting at 40%. Um, you're not shooting enough. That's my no, theory. Very true. Very <laughs> true. And these guys, they're doing all right as well. They're sitting second behind Kilsyth in that Watson that Watson pool. Well, yeah, when you got when you got somebody like Evans um, being able to come off that bench, and you know she she distributes it pretty well as well. They, once again, these are what makes a good team. Absolutely, and they've got the sort of benefit of them being so long. They're a, that's a lengthy team. Yeah. yeah. So they're shrinking the floor. They're playing with great length, which is handy when you huge. have that sort of athleticism on your side. Absolutely. Now we've got one player which we'll probably touch on lastly here in a team who won the championship last year. Yeah. So, and team that's already deep with players in college and probably going to come back soon. Big time. Ruby Murphy. Yeah, what a star she is off the bench for uh, the Thunder. Absolutely. The um, <laughs> this was a really big story um last year for Kilo on their finals run. Yeah. Um, I believe they may have been missing a couple of important players uh as they got deep in that well, finals run. I believe they did. And the depth sort of showed they could get it done. Absolutely. So, and, and Ruby Murphy's a big part of that, isn't she? 100%. And we had role players for them last year, like Hayley Courts was a role player for them last year coming off the bench. And she's now their top scorer. Isn't that, isn't that so pleasing? I mean, the coach, the coaching staff and the um, you know admin down at uh, Keelor will be stoked to say, hey, our program's rolling. If we can have our bench players becoming the stars the next year or two, then mm -hmm. um, that's exactly how you want your program operating. No, it's fantastic. But no, credit to Ruby averaging just over those seven points per game. Only playing that 16-minute mark, but again, she's shooting well. She's put up, you know, 37-3, so she can shoot. She's confident there. She's 
you know, yeah, and that'll start to drop a little bit more efficiently, hopefully. But um, yeah, really impressed with the first half of the year. Absolutely, guys. Catch you later.